Oh. But it's no thought... longer a start screen, so... Oh, I thought that we were streaming audio this entire time. No, we weren't. Okay. I just have a scuffed setup, so I'm allowed to talk to you on the waiting screen now. Oh, cool. Well, now that we're streaming audio, hi everyone! Hello! <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be a stream. <laughs> it is. It is. It's gonna be a very know... majorly scuffed one, I think. Well, isn't that how every one of your streams are? Is oh, that why people well, like them? I guess, but I feel like this is gonna be like extra scuffed for some reason. We have an almost exclusively heavyweight top eight tonight. Literally one person plays a lightweight and everyone else plays a heavyweight. So I hope you like watching heavies. Do you like watching heavies, Sap? Only if they're named Shovel Knight? Hmm. It's unfortunate, because <laughs> Shovel Knight is, I think, the only heavy that doesn't appear in this top eight. I'm yeah. going to go jump off my roof. Okay. Okay, Mr. Socks. We do, because you know who we both main? Mained at one point, not anymore. That's from each. X, 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 shut up. Shut up, you're ruining it. X, 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 no. X, X, Anyway. X, you're ruining it. Oh, okay. I think it's about time uh, <laughs> we jump into it here. So, we're going to be starting off with Sloppy Jalopy versus Mantis. This is actually Sloppy's first rival's recess. And already going right into the top eight, which should be to no one's surprise, Sloppy's a very, very talented Edelus. I haven't seen them play in too many events, but, uh,. I don't think scary. This... Uh, this matchup is weird. It is. It's a very uncomfy matchup. Um, Analyst is really good at with punishing and punishing Sov. But Sov also has a lot of ways to be dash attack and punish the Edelus just as hard. So the damage can kind of just go back and forth really rapidly in this matchup. Kind of like a lot of heavyweight matchups. But it's a lot more exaggerated here with how I so many Edelus like... is some of the best punish games. I think, ooh, good Dacus. Yeah. Um, really quick, um, Ojo would know this better than me, but I believe the rule of thumb is DI in on Dacus, uh, if there's ice, and DI out if there isn't. Um, and that that'll general, and that'll generally get you out of, um, Dacus. Or DI I down. I thought it was normally down and out, but I think it's dependent on the part of Edelus' body you get hit by as well, which can make it extra difficult, because like, if you get hit near Edelus' back, you're not going to get sent as far relative to Edelus, compared to if you got hit in the front. <laughs> you hate to see it. To be fair, I probably would have rolled too, so... Sometimes brain just don't think. Um, I, I I feel like the way that I'm going to describe this matchup is kind of a disservice, but I'm gonna call this an Eliana matchup. No, it pretty much is. The the, goal, the, it's just... the the end goal here is to taxivate. Yeah, it's just I think these characters can work like that in general, like it's not as exaggerated as Eliana, but both of them still kind of have that kind of function in most yeah. of their matchups. Where it's like, because Edelus SK is the same way, like it's just kind of the nature of a lot of the heavies in this game. Mm -hmm. Not Crag. That's not so much Crag, but yeah. The other ones I mean... are a lot more of one happy. Ooh. Ooh. Scooped from the top. Sloppy's been getting a lot of mileage out of his just up strongs under bot so far. Just kind of. So, so heck, how do you di Adakus? Um, do not di Adakus, please. <laughs> Glad we're on the same page. That's the actual moral of the story. Which we have a shocking for Edelai and Top Eight. Actually, it's not shocking. This is Rivals Recess, of course. Therefore, Top Eight. <laughs> But yeah, um, there's a lot, so <sighs> you're probably uh, gonna learn. Don't DI a Dacus, please. Mm. Ooh, good DI. Yeah, just barely hanging on. So, 
I don't know if this is the bracket where I'm allowed to commentate on players' habits or not, but I'm, but that's just how I work. <laughs> so I'm probably going to at least a couple times. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of just full charge one upstrong from Mantis, and upstrong as an edge guarding tool is very powerful. Charging upstrong is less so. Um, upstrong has a ooh 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 bad. Downstrong covers two thirds of your options there. Um, but you had landed on the right one, uh, the right hand. Yeah. So if you had gone out, you would have lived. Um, where was I? Right. Uh, charging up strong isn't as effective as just spamming it because you have more time to move and get out of the way, reposition, and like that one. move has no in lag. <laughs> you end up with more active frames and therefore a better chance to hit them. Like you just did. Good job. Good howl. Um. Miss your hand scary getting the ladder combos. Oh, oh wow. 80%. That. that from one string. That, that was a punish. Oh, yeah. Well, sloppy Joke is pretty good there. Just gonna hold in. After about 80 to 90 percent of most characters, even DIing in won't get you that up strong kill. Sloppy, why why did you have to say that an editado is like that? I mean, he's right though. So. Yeah, but you. Uh, and uh, we don't have game three, but Sloppy won 3-0 because Edelus is really good. Edelus. <clears throat> yeah, Edelus did a funny. Not very surprising, like I said. Edelus is a lot of those funnies. Next up, we're going to be watching Slip vs. Cyber Hexmania. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Chad, I think I'm funny. You're not funny. Oh. Okay. We're going to have Gucci Gaming Socks vs. Drudius up next. So this is the uh... There's gonna be some Edelus crag. I think what's I think what's really funny is that none of the initial stats are Edelus Edos. There are four Edelai, but they're all spread out to the first four sets. So we get a very Are you sure that you don't are you sure that you don't want Ocho's commentary instead of mine? <laughs> we'll see sometime, I guess. You would be more useful here. <laughs> all working just as intended. Yep. <clears throat> this is also like the fourth custom skin I've seen Gucci use this month. So that's cool. I have so many new ones. I have so many of these saved now. It's really cursed. Alright, so Edelus Crag. I know Ocho really hates this matchup. I feel like with Edelus often being really restricted to the ground, characters that have good projectiles can be Holy obnoxious matchup for hell. So this game started out with 94%. It did. Oh, and it's not... It should have been... It's maybe not stock, but it should have been... He should have at least been another edge guard. Yeah. Um, instead of a down strong there, um, as Ocho preaches to me constantly, um, if you are at ledge or on any platform that isn't uh blazing um and you get a freeze down b is a inescapable setup mm -hmm. Ooh, that's gonna be a shock despite the really strong start from gucci god i hate that i have to call him that uh despite the very strong start start from gucci uh mr drew over here is going to take the first stock yeah that's another one 
and uh, you hard to the roll in, but you know what, it works. Start off the stock anyway, so. But now you're at 100% in your second stock. I didn't even realize that. This yeah. is all the damage. Ooh. We stay living. And the fair is gonna take it. Yeah, that's a full stock lead. The Drew is just running away with this game with his movement. Yeah, I think the Kragi and you can be really awkward fatalist to learn at first, just because, like, well, that was really good. Good dare. Good dare. The Icicle Edge Guards. Really scary for anyone to deal okay. with. Okay, you remember that bit whenever I said that Crag isn't hype? Yeah, I was lying. Oh, we have a freeze. Okay, not too much off of it, but... Okay, Gucci, I don't care what you say, this game is hype. Really, Nick... Uh, sorry, why did I call him Nick? Uh, for some reason... No, for some reason. Uh, Drew should really be going for his rock here. There's not a whole lot that Edelus can do other than maybe a sliding F-tilt um, in order to counteract a rock in um, Edelus's hands. In... Yeah. Oh my god. Hmm, <laughs> you really just went point. for that option. And it, like, actually works. Like, I mean, just... to be fair, Edelus armor F strong is basically completely safe. More or less, yeah. It's just the only very the only way that it's able to be punished in any meaningful way is a triangle dash through the icicles that come off of his face. Like it, it or if you're behind them, right? I just think any use of like get armor immediately strong is cursed in a very funny way. It, it, it's honestly less cursed than Ocho doing it and then immediately using armor cancels. In case you couldn't tell by my frequent referencing of Ocho, he is literally the only Atlas I've played against in the last like six months. Isn't he also like the only base cast player you've played in the last six months? Base cast player or played in base cast? Played in base cast. I've also played against Alex. <laughs> <laughs> and technically I did free for all the Peachy ones. Dang. Oh, dang. Drew is really just going for these aerials. Just gonna keep throwing throwing them out. Ooh! Uh, okay, the eye down, the eye down. Yeah, you definitely should have lived that. I, I know it's hard to react to stuff like that, but it's just one of those. Yeah. But it happens. It's a little hard. I feel like with the galaxy screen, it's definitely easier. Mm -hmm. But That's one hit pause. It's something you have to remember. I'm messing up the ice gold parry. Honestly, there is a world in which Nick, uh, in which Drew comes back from this. Heavies are definitely capable of comebacks. No, they aren't. Until you get Dacus, but I mean, they are capable of comebacks. I'm, I'm not okay. lying here. Okay, Gucci, I will say that... You started spamming oh. Icicles so much at the end there, but also, that... again, Drew wasn't parrying it, so, like, you're allowed to. Yeah. Like, for all for all your bad Icicle habits, at least I respect you more than people that do the ZB. Do you, in case anybody doesn't know what the ZB is, it is icicling at the start of the game and then immediately edge canceling it whenever they inevitably ZB carry. ZB is really funny though. Yes, I just respect people for doing game. it. Ooh, wow, that was a really good catch on the air dodge right there. He's looking for a lot of those right now. Gucci. I feel like most of his kills have come from up air. Gucci, are you going to start doing it? Because if you are... Hex, Hex, can I have mods so I can ban no. this man from your channel? No. Okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> you tried and you failed. Oh, wow. 
I think I can get the DI out right there, but when you're at higher percents, a lot of the time it's safer to just hold in and make sure you hit the ground and then mix up the yeah, attacks. Scripted. Well, it depends like on where, you, like. where you're at. Um, if you're at the ledge, it's definitely uh, you DI. Have to DI in, I feel like. Evil. Um, yeah, that's another up there. Hey, um, that's called the commentator's curse. <laughs> So if you're going, he's a lot. Maybe okay. not. Um, there's a lot of rock shine going on right here. Not my guy. More. <laughs> That's interesting. Ooh, weak there. So I mean, like, oh. Rock shines oh, you hard. know what I'm not seeing? What are you not seeing? I'm not seeing the curse confirm. Which is. A weak Nair down strong. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be that or the menace, but No, the menace yeah. is the menace. I mean the menace is a curse confirmed, to be fair. Whoa, that good pack. Whoa. Wow. He, he went can't all in for back that. From... No, no, no. It's not happening, is it? I mean, I don't know, this is Adolf's armor. You never really know. I he yeah. got some damage. Yeah. Like, th that's why I don't want to say anything, but like, no, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> you fools. I knew that wasn't gonna happen. I was tricking you, and you all fell for my <laughs> amazing, <laughs> amazing trick. <laughs> Alright, is Gucci gonna be able to take it right here? He is one game away from uh, Winner's Finals. Either way, um, whoever wins this is fighting an Edelus, so... Sucks for them. Oh, this is interesting, because taking Krag to Aramata... There's also this, this specific CV on this stage. <laughs> but, um, don't, don't take me to Aramata. <laughs> this is also such a good Edelus stage that it's probably balancing out almost more in Edelus' favor. And this stage is really good for the heavies in general. I, I really disagree. I think that this is Crag's best stage. Ooh, that hammer was... I don't know. No! Mm, F. Bonk. Yeah, I guess... You really had to air dodge out the startup right there. Yeah. Um, well, he could have bonked, then jumped, then air dodge wall jump, I guess. He had his jump, then he yeah. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize that he didn't have a jump either. I assume there was no jump, but yeah. There um, was. It's unfortunate. But even with that SD, Yuji's still looking Ooh. to be in a really good spot right now. Full stock ahead here. Oh, I'm well, full stock. Well, maybe less than a full to, stock? As close to a full stock as you get in this matchup. Except mm. for the fact that he's not anymore. Oh no, Drill got a little greedy. That's okay. Know, he's that's alive. A lot of oh no, is he alive? Yes. For now. That. Well, he wow. had armor. Oh, well, he had, he had a full stock up. <laughs> Got that thirty percent now, fifty percent lead. Well, the numbers climbing. Um, Gucci, we're talking about just yet. the fair chains. If it's just the fair chains, it's DI in, drift out. Well, it's hard DI out at like 0 to 30. Mm, yeah. But... but after that, you just kind of die. You have to try to just use your drift effectively. And... Oh, oh no! You hate to Literally. see it. That's a really unfortunate way to go out, but. It's gonna be if Gucci goes into winner's finals. I'm trying to find some alliteration with Gucci gets, and I'm just gonna give up now. Mm, okay, you do that. I guess I could say uh, Gucci gets to go gaming. Oh, posture check. All right. So, I think next up we are going to have 
an optimal versus null. So our only uh, non-heavyweight player right here. Woo, yeah, that's Let's go, what you null. like to see. So, so, um, well, do you like to see it? Do you want to see Alpsa on the stream? You tell me. Why am I commentating this again? Because <laughs> no one else would. <sighs> oh, what? I thought I put that in. <laughs> My computer is just really slow and also really loud. So. You know, unfortunate. I guess right, you could so. say that that computer is the unoptimal choice. How... how deafen? I'm gonna deafen. I am screaming. So yeah, I'm gonna list Absa. Um... It's definitely known as one of the more obnoxious matchups in this game. Uh, to quote Throwist, why is this matchup bad for Edelis? Because you put a cloud down, and all of a sudden, he can't use dash attack. Yeah. It's really difficult for Edelis to sort of break in from longer ranges. Of course, once Edelis is in, things can be really scary. Um, especially with how good Edelis can be at killing off the top with Dacus. But actually, and, finding know. the opportunity for a Dacus is going to be really rough. I don't know if it's like Apsa struggles to kill off the top either. I mean, you have the up air. <laughs> you got grass. Hey, hey. Oh, hey, hey. Can we just like not talk about that one? Why? It's happened to me too many times. Double up air? Oh my god. No, you just... know, if you ever. Quite honestly, if you ever get hit by up air and you start to see them chase, just double jump down B. Broken timing mix up is a broken timing mix up. Um I don't know how that would work out for Clarion, mm -hmm. but okay. The down B mix up is definitely a classic. Definitely one of yeah. the staple um recessed endless drafts. And it's, it's working really well so far. You know, I have never actually seen a Grax game. Mm, that's I, really I've unfortunate. Seen, I've seen some of the things that Grax has done, but I've... Oh my god, no. That was Whoa. really bold. I'm glad it worked out for you, because it should have, because that was a really whack-ass hammer. But I was fearing for your life. That was definitely an Ojo hammer. That was definitely- I don't know, man. I know a lot of people who will, uh, hammer like that. It's- it's bold. But sometimes it really does work out. Sometimes it looks like the other player's drunk. You know, because they- they're just completely fucking hammered. Mm, yeah. You're just not having it today, are you? No. Okay. Well, that's down B. It is. It is. A like move. Really, hmm. Does this feel like a really risky, um. Whatever. Uh, counter check for an optimal. Because obviously it's a good Atlas stage, but. <sighs> approaching Absa without platforms sounds like, like a nightmare. Legitimately, I think that my pick order would have gone something like. Um. Blazing first. Um. Probably rock wall second, and fire capital third. I feel like, um, I don't know. I'm honestly not sure what I would do as far as stage picks in this matchup, but I, I would say that I don't think this is it. Yeah. At the very least. I was gonna say Truple, and then I realized that we were talking about Edelis. Mm -hmm. Also, Null's getting away with a lot of F tilt two <laughs> right now. Remember, you can crowd cancel it. Yeah. Can I was using the opportunity to get hammers? I mean, um, yeah. But, like, it's a lot of low percent armor we're seeing, so... Mm. 
really makes you think, you know? Hmm. You know, sometimes the wrong answer is the rightest answer. There is no perfect option in Rivals, because if it's the perfect option, then the other person knows it, and will be expecting it. Mm -hmm. A.K.A. The overly uh, philosophical answer for why mix-ups are a thing. Hmm, that is an up, that is an F till up air, right there. Sup, Slim? Can't mix that one up. Can you just die? You just get dead again. I I was busy reading, like, I was saying hi to Slam, and then I basically went, Oh, hey, what'd they say? Oh. Oh. And so I just politely ignored it. Hmm. You know what, dash attack. Well, I guess it makes sense. It really, it really is endless, but, um... This is a good start from an optimum, I feel like. You already got ice on most of the stage. You did have it, ice on most of the stage. It's a good thing that you uh, corrected yourself, because I was gonna relentlessly make fun of you if you didn't. <laughs> but it's not like I don't do that anyway. I mean, right now, Null's doing a really good job carrying icicles. That is a lot of icicle fairies. It really feels like an optimal has no idea what to do at this point. Yeah. Just, just sitting there. Hmm. Struggling to find those FL2 parries, so mixing up that timing, and yeah, there's... You can kind of feel the defeat right now. Mm hmm. Uh. Well, now... Sort of jumping around. And I want to show everyone this because it's really funny. We have the most cursed desync I've ever seen in my life. Look at them. They're just they're just vibing. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Um so I think it would be a little bit repetitive to watch all of this, but yes. No, no, this... no, 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 no. We're sitting no. here for that. We're sitting here. We're watching this. It's like a, it's like a minute and 15 seconds left. Good yeah, point. it literally goes to, um, literally goes to the last second. None of us know how this happened. I've never seen an absolute desync like this before in my life. But it happened. Um... And I'm you wanna know, you wanna know what my favorite part of this entire desync is? What? The two giant Sylvanas heads in the background. Right. Fighting. Oh, that's so, I just noticed that. Yeah, they're just like they're so confused. And yeah, Slam, I sent this to um SBS. Um So hopefully he's doing something cool with this. Cause uh I I'm sure not. I'm just you know I like I like how it almost looks like Atlas is bouncing to the beat. Hmm. What's an optimal doing? Just up smash. <laughs> True. Null's well, okay. Null's expecting it. Null's just gonna parry and then like zero to death off of a down air parry punish. Like, come on. That's so, so obvious. He can't really do anything. An optimal is out at seven. Let's go. No, moving on further in the bracket. <laughs> that was yeah. so. Yeah, so no, bad. that was like 10 or 20. Thank you, Sam. I'm glad you agree. Okay, but. Brad, did you tell him what how the desync worked? Like you did tell him that part, right? That it literally is just mind breaking, mind breakingly weird desync. Uh, I don't. I really don't understand rivals sometimes, and frankly, I'm not sure the devs do either. Oh my god, I'm gonna make my computer literally die! I swear. 
this. Get these games in here, please. Please don't. I enjoy talking to you, and if you destroy your computer, we can't. <laughs> um, dang, Grax has a custom, apparently. Uh, I guess I'll have to fix that later, because I thought I was just going to be golden. Also, Grax I mean, is on the stream. Let's fucking go. I mean, it looks like low-quality um, championship Edelis. It does. It does. I mean, uh, I just use Golden Edda anyway, because I'm going to be lazy, and Grax used to use Golden Edda. I mean, he does use Golden in this set. Well, I... Spoilers, nerd. Ooh. Um, anyway, yeah, so we're going to have Grax versus Genova right now. Okay, question. I'm not looking at your actual stream right now. Are you using some random version of Eliana right now instead of... No, I have I Ayala. Oh, okay. No, why would I use some random version of Eliana? It's, it's the updated stream tool. Because... Because you were asking around for the... No, I needed an HD version for the um, top 8 graphic. Ah. I, there isn't one. I'm so I'm still pissed about this, by the way. Because Genova's the only person in Rivals Recess I know. Okay, I know one other person now, but up until this week. Genova was the only person I knew who, um... Arf. Well, they haven't played in Mother Realm so that, that doesn't... I don't count that. Um... But I'm right. Uh, <laughs> considering <laughs> having a co-commentator, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's like, the right answer. That's a Grax, by the way. That, so Grax has many, um, many, many fundamental Grax. qualities, and one of them is landing hammer as a freeze punish. But the uh, full hop F strong is going to be Genova's punish right there. Excuse me. What? As a freeze punish? You saw Falling Hammer. Or just Hammer in general. But Grax uses a lot of Hammer um, on Frozen opponents, which is really funny. Oh my god, that is the top tier move. Ugh. Hey. Wow. I, I didn't realize that Genova main swap. I, I know, oh, but nobody I realized. Know I, see really people, I, I see people ask this every single week. N no, no, I thought Genova played Eliana. I didn't realize that they switched to Ori. Did this motherfucker just yeah. carry? Yeah, this is this is why we adore Grax on this stream. But so far, not reading out too well. Genova's doing a really good job just kind of maneuvering around and using overheat strongs to punish. I mean, I guess technically at the end their name was Silva. One thing I'm noticing from a lot of the like rivals recess Ellie's is um I feel like a lot of them have Ooh, like are really good at picking up some of the more kind of technical aspects of Ellie. Like Genova has pretty good missile control and is pretty good at doing more like certain technical zoning options. I think a lot of the flaws they have sometimes just comes in their neutral play. And this goes across the board. Um pretty much all of them like pick up a lot of the Whoa. tech stuff first. A really Although, unfortunate freeze. I, I will say, that just kind of goes for every character to some degree. Good f -throng. I guess, it just feels more good exaggerated Good Perry, good yes. god. Yeah. That move is still stupid. Janu is also really good at finding mines. I mean, yeah, really good punish right there. Just destroy yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is Eliana for ya. You don't see her very much in recess. I don't know. The last one was like Do you know cat, like two months ago. It feels like at least. It's Nova. I thought that I thought that you were supposed to not be tax evading. Isn't that illegal or something? Probably. Also, do you mean the last Eliana in main bracket, or do you mean yeah. the last Eliana in recess? In main bracket. I've commentated Ellie every single week in like the past month because they all end up in into a top eight. Yeah. There's Genova, oh, there's yes. EG, there's Envy, um, and there's one other, I think. Oh, Envy got into main bracket 
two weeks yeah, ago? Yeah, I know. I know, but not main top eight. Oh, okay. Oh, and Peachy oh. also made inter top eight. So, yeah. Oh, um, Gucci, you, you, did you not, oh. Oh, the, yeah, Toaster Gates, yeah. That's, that's um, how the stream works, Gucci. You quite should know this by now. Quite honestly, Gucci, that's not the good one. Um, you should go watch Mooney stream on the stage at some point. It rains buckets of KFC. <gasps> Golden Edelis! Golden Edda. Now the stream is accurate, let's go. That Cost. is a... God, I never see steam clouds that big. That's kind of cursed, honestly. And Grax relying way too heavily on the hammer so far, and they are not working out. Man, this is one hot uh, Ellie play. Ooh! Wow! Ooh, that, was, that was a gross confirm. That this is one of the weirdest rocket fists I've ever seen. But Genova just kind of finding all the answers right now in Grax. Grax has the Dacus. Grax has. Dacus has worked out really well for Grax so far. I think it's the F-Shong, too. I'm gonna keep this in okay. the game. As long as Grax doesn't just relentlessly spam hammer and down B, he should have a chance. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> mm, there's another ice cream parry. Oh god. Oh god. It's activating. <laughs> the thing is, though, in this matchup, both sides can do it. That's every... I, think... I know, I know, but still. Well, I'm... Because it's also Edelus, though, is the thing. So, like... It doesn't matter. It's every single Eliana matchup. Oh, God. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oof. And another time, Genova's been able to uh, fly right at Grax. And find the kill. And there's a lot of up tilts going on, too, here. Grax is kind of landing and moving above Genova a little bit too aggressively. And that really makes it easy for Ellie to find her best starter. You have no idea how often that happens to me, Grax. The first time I ever played Roar and Bracket, that happened to me. Yeah. And it was how you say, oof. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely so. Oh, that's not great. No fist, baby. Please don't call it that. I'm calling it that, and there's something you can do about it. What the? Even with the armor, that just kills. I don't know if that was good DI from Grass. No, but, no. Wow. But, okay, so there are two hitboxes on Eliana up there. Aren't there um, three? I don't fuck no. I'm just I'm just going off of Steve's up there because everyone calls Eliana up there. No, there are three hitboxes and. I don't know which one that was specifically, but... That, that, that was either the first or second hitbox. Yeah, no, obviously it was one of the front ones, I'm just saying, like... So then you DI out. And then yeah, the third one you DI in. I don't know, man. That was just some very scuffed DI in general. That DI just made him die. Pretty much. Alright, though. Um, we're gonna be moving on. Those are some pretty quick, uh... Pretty Why quick... Pink laser stats. Um, so we're gonna be moving on to Lucy's Quarters now, where we're gonna start off with, um... Oh. Okay, I broke the stream tool. Um, we're gonna be moving on to Mantis versus... Uh... No. So... Yeah, get hyped for that. Oh, wait. Why? That's unfortunate. Um, hmm. What's happening? Uh, what if we try it? There we go. That's really weird. Um, can I do it here? I can do it here. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. My stream tool is breaking. Um, losers quarter. So Absa versus Sylvanas is. Probably one of Alps' worst matchups. Um, I think a lot of people will say that 
Absa um, loses. I think it's even personally, just because Abs is really good, just as a character in general. Um, but unlike most characters, I think So is really easily able to kind of match the way that Absa plays neutral, um, match Absa's sort of damage output in a way. Um, win neutral against her pretty well, because So already wants to stay grounded, and it's a lot easier to fight Absa. For most characters, at least, if you're able to stay grounded reasonably well. So it just still kind of pokes at a lot of Abs's weak points. Um, still, still has a lot of weak points that Abs can exploit, but it evens out more than most matchups. Overall, I'd say that this uh, matchup is pretty cringe. Yes, well, I like this matchup, but I do think no, no, that. No, no, no. I know. I... <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna call something else cringe, because this isn't this isn't warrant a cringe. Um you cringing things that aren't cringe worthy is pretty cringe though. I don't think that was even necessarily a bad DI. I kinda look like no DI on the down strong. But Nell is kind of exploding off the top. Oh, also, also there's the hydrate. Yeah, I already got the hydrate. Oh. Fuck you, no you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. It's I right literally there. literally drank water. Oh. And then oh. cringe is cringe. For context, chat, um, I don't have water. Because I'm lame and I didn't want to go get glass after I'd already come upstairs. Um, so I just took out a can of monster. <sighs> I guess it technically counts. Technically. I mean, it doesn't actually hydrate me. It actually dehydrates me. So, no. But whatever, I'm lazy. So, ooh, this is some really good up air Samantha's right now. This is one thing about the matchup, is that Absa has pretty good advantage in general, but sometimes with half floaty shields, you're able to kind of catch her, especially with her double jump. Um, yeah, sometimes she can't quickly escape kind of... up air pressure. Uh, yeah, sometimes Absa just kind of uh, dies. Yeah. Oh, she wants to back it right now. But not showing why Absa can be really scary in this matchup, you have to be really oh, careful yeah. about the eyeing kick chains. And also Sylvana's stuff. He got the up strong. Thumbs up. DI down and out. To be fair, um, DIing down and out on Sylvana's side B isn't always the right option. Yeah, it's definitely not. Um, because if you DI down and out and miss the tech, um, you get bit, um, again. Um, and if you do tech, well, congrats, you're in a tech case situation yeah, I think now. a lot of people kind of oversimplify it as, like, you, you never, uh, hold in versus that, uh, against that move, but it really isn't that simple. If you get hit by an aerial one, generally, in is the correct DI. Notice I said generally, because there are always exceptions. Always. Yeah, someone's really good at covering most DI on most things. You just have to hard commit to it, which... Makes right, it, it's a math problem. That there isn't any perfect counterplay to anything because if they read it, then you're fucked. Mm -hmm. Once again, man, holding as a I new mentioned, ledge, not really working right now. As, yeah. as I mentioned earlier, uh, spamming it is much more effective because of the low in lag. Um, no! Oh, yeah, my God. Air drift. oh my God! Oh my God! Didn't do it fast enough. Yeah. As I was saying earlier, uh, if you use it more, you have more active frames and therefore a better chance to hit it, and at 100 plus percent, it's going to kill anyway. Charging doesn't matter. Right. And as a general rule of thumb, your goal off of an edge guard, the first goal, mm. is this off of the desyncs? This, we yeah, really got two desyncs from the same person. Damn. That, that really is, is unfortunate. How you call what you call unfortunate? Um, let's see how stupid this is. Well, 
Mm. Okay. Well. Rip. Okay. Um, Regardless. Um, where was I? Oh, right. In general, in an edge guard situation, your first goal isn't really to kill. Your first goal is to get them off stage. And then you kill. Ideally. But keeping them off stage is more consistent to do than just killing them. If you can kill them, great! Do it! Don't go all out on a strong attack. Strong attacks are often risky. Um, I'm liking a lot of these... Ooh! Bad DIN! Yeah... Mm. Mill's definitely uh, a bit... I don't know... I guess this is near ledge, and Null doesn't want to risk dying, but you should be safe to hold out in that move. Um, hold out at 100. In. Yeah, if you drift well enough, you should be fine. I don't know, maybe Raster would die, but that's about it. And Ori, I guess, as well. Please, 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 no, please, I'm begging you. Oh. Um. If you ever land, I assume that Sylvanas does know this, but um, if you ever land and you hit them with a falling hit of um, up special, and there's grass everywhere around you, you can reactionary follow their DI and chomp, or just kill them. Yeah. Because they're DI the wrong way. But it's just a really strong pull in general. It's a bit tricky to use effectively, but. On hit, it does pretty much anything you want. Sylvanas has strong tools, in general. Oh yeah, everyone does. Lots of seeds right now. Not insert main here. Okay, Ori Steve, man. Oh wow, Null was not ready for uh, it. I'm, I'm just gonna say this real quick, um... Oof! Yeah. <laughs> Man just kind of hard committed to the bite in right there, and Noel, I guess maybe he's not going for that many more aggressive recoveries. So saving it to the very end like that is definitely smart. Something that I, something I want to think about for Mantis is next time that we see a game with her, I want to count how often she uses Burrow because I might well be curious about that. Oh, see ya, Slam. Thank you for TOing for me. I appreciate it because, haha, <laughs> work. My foot is dying. I don't know why it's dying, but it is. Does that include the rest of you too? Because I like you. No, it's just, it's just my foot. How does that make sense? How, how does one part of you die without the rest of you die? Pins and needles. What? You you don't know what I'm talking about? Just like No, I know exactly what you're what you're talking about. I'm just Yeah, un people un don't call that dying. Like I don't know. No. They call okay. it if they're still going to sleep. They do. I sometimes call it dying. I don't know why. I knew what you meant, but <laughs> I'm yeah, also Yeah, that was game three. <laughs> Rip. Anyway, we're gonna have Genova and Juridius right here. Um we so, only have heavyweights for the rest of the stream, so I hope you're all excited for that. We got heavy zoners here. Well, what was the art that he made? Was it like a sketch, or was it like a painting, or... What? You know, he drew it. I'm so close. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this one there. Oh, oh, mm, no dice. But I respect the attempt. Yeah, the immediate missile there is definitely a bold option for Genova to start out. Did not. Good down strong to stall out uh, the meter, but not good enough, it seems. And mind flings, and oh my god! Yeah, 
Genius. Going for some aggressive landing options here. Ooh, didn't quite get that out before uh, Drew could get out his... Uh, before Drew got out of sight. That was really smart right there. Trying to not go super high above Ellie and just... I really think after. that... I really think that Drew is underestimating um, Rock as a tool in general, but especially in this matchup. Rock completely denies all of Eliana's projectiles and most of her approach options. Yeah, definitely. Um, um, the only thing also that... also force her to burn meter off stage really well. It's just such a like low commitment, really obnoxious tool. Mm -hmm. Also prevents going from under the ledge to instantly wave land. Um, um if you line it up correctly. So do you know that like what you want to do when you're edge guarding crag is you essentially want to set up um steam in the corner. And you want to play around that steam. Um because crag doesn't usually recover with like a hitbox to raise himself up like most characters do. You can kind of force him to commit harder to an option to clear steam. And um play around the way he maneuvers around steam better than most other characters. Mine that ledge isn't gonna do you much good like it will in other matchups. So use that steam. Sometimes I'll also like if Crag's just waiting on a pillar, I'll just go and like drop a mine on him. So that way I have some counterplay. And you can use oh. missile to also break pillar and add some extra pressure. And another up air. Drew's so good at finding this. Drew is really good at catching out these high recoveries. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I don't think he's doing much traditional crag edge guarding stuff. I'm yeah, not think... seeing a whole lot of rocks, I'm not seeing Drew a whole lot of boundy. Drew doesn't really ledge trap much. Um, Drew is more just about like aggressively the catching guy. recovery options. Yeah. Um, almost more like a grappler style crag, which I don't feel like I see that often at the um, higher end of recess. There's a lot more just using rock smartly. Play, a lot of which, check crack. Yeah, which isn't really Drew's style here. I respect like, it. I, re I, really like, I really like the more aggressive crag, don't get me wrong. Um, but rock is also one of the best moves in the game, so you, it is a little hard to not say, mm -hmm. like, Sure there are you know. Yeah, there are cases where you should slow it down. Yeah. And it's fine to play fast in them, but it needs to be a choice and not just, oh hey, I forgot that I have rock. There's a rock. Doesn't really do much, but it's there. Yay, projectile and vulnerable moves. Fair is not fair. Fair is not fair. Ellie Fair kind of sucks, but Crag Fair is just bonked. Crag, mm, Crag Fair makes me want to vomit. Just a little bit. That's also probably because of the jungle. Um. <laughs> Some good air approaches right now from Drew. Just continuing. I. Find these good openings. That's what we haven't been seeing from Drew. I, like neutral aerial. The neutral aerial. The Crag Swiss Crag Army Knife of Crag. Except maybe Rock. Rock might also be the Swiss Army Knife. Yeah. Oh no, DI down, but didn't quite hit it. Yeah, that's. You did the right option, but it wasn't right enough. Oh. Okay, well, Denova did the wrong option, and it was very wrong. So it worked out in the end, I think. But did it even matter? I don't know, we're gonna find out here. It's one stock to one. Oh no, Genova started activating. Well, so did so did Drew. Well Well he's still alive and doesn't have any heat, but Well Yeah, this is where it kinda gets rough for Ellie, your high heat and crap. Well Oh still not dead. You know, it was alive. I don't know if he's going Probably. to stay alive. Nope. Nope. Genova <laughs> got toasted. Crag up air is obviously a pretty good move. Hex, is it? 
I, I can't remember. Is this how, our, how the streams that I commentate with you always go? Do we just start making bad puns eventually? I don't think so. I think this is just you. Where's the we in this? You just said that Janova I got token. Okay, I say that too much for me to consider it a bad pun. It's just kind of a catchphrase at this point. Hex? You know what catchphrases often are? Listen, I made like one- I said one thing like that all stream. That's been like half of your commentary, SMH. You said- you said two. You said two. Oh, wow. That was a very good string. He wasn't that far behind right now, but he's going to play well to kind of bring it back. You know, I I don't really want to say this, but like, why why up strong? He did jab jab down tilt. Genova teched out, and he ran after him and up strong. Because, haha, funny tech chase. Yeah, but like, why not just up tilt and get a longer string? Because, I don't know. Like, that could have been incredible. But I don't know, no. it's still working out pretty well for Judius. No, no, you're just gonna ignore that one? Okay. <laughs> I can't tell if you're just ignoring me, if you've muted me, or what's going on. That's... That's fine. Okay. I don't know what to say about this set anymore. We've mentioned pretty much everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just... I don't know. It, it's just a lot of... I feel like the set, this matchup kind of goes about... Oh, wow. Oh, god, mm. DI'd out. Yeah. I mean, I'm expecting Genova to side. Oh, oh. god, the eye out. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no, this, this matchup really does go about the way you'd expect it to a lot of the time, I think. Um. <laughs> I just was not expecting the forward air. Both these characters have some really devastating ways to kind of mix up your DI and make you afraid of their kill moves. I gotta say, they have some really good kill moves. You know. Like existing. Hmm. Just a little bit. Alright, I think we're gonna go back into winners for a set right here. Oh, for no. somehow, only our first Edelus Dittos so far. Oh no, god, we're gonna watch so many Edelus Dittos. To be honest, oh. the funny thing is, the max we can, the max we can watch now is three. Okay, Hex. That is still fifteen games max. at most. Okay, that is at minimum nine games of Edelus Dittos that we have well, to comment with, that no, we're going to run our stuff not. It's at minimum three. At maximum 15. There's a lot of okay. wiggle room in there. SMH. Okay, most likely we're gonna watch at least six, and we're gonna run out of things to say by the end of the second. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully both these players are gonna be able to kind of bring it. Bring in some unique tricks with the character. Gatalus is a bit more straightforward, at least at first glance, than a lot of other characters, but... He's a reasonably creative with the punish game. So, am I allowed to say that, um, hey, Sloppy, whenever you use that hammer there, 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 there wasn't ice. You're supposed to use the hammer on the ice, That sloppy. was a really weird hammer. I'm not sure what happened there. It's probably a misinput, but... It was either trying to be fade back icicles and edge cancel if they tried to parry, uh, if Socks tried to parry, or slide underneath the platform where there was ice. Ooh, gets the dare. Doesn't fall to the platform fast enough to get the down strong, but Harry's quite the up strong. I don't know if Gucci's particularly great at parrying icicles, but Sloppy's showing that uh, he's pretty capable of it right now. 
He's doing a pretty nice job of it. Hmm, yeah. Definitely. Um... Huh. I'm surprised he would just let that freeze go, because he just tried to tech chase the, um... In. The release, but yeah. I mean, he could've dackissed. Yeah. Ooh! Calls, calls out sloppy there. Yeah. Pretty. That was a pretty sloppy roll. Uh, so, Gucci is behind a little bit right now, but it's gonna try to even it out. Hmm, I wonder how Edelus Edgarding Edelus goes. Um, so, Edelus Edgarding Edelus is kind of weird because of Edelus Uppy being projectile invincible while rising. Yeah. Um, what. Good DI. Uh, what really ends up happening is, um, Edelus forces the other Edelus to, um, release up the early with high school. From there, you're going to try to edgeguard a medium to low recovery most of the time. And if you do go for- ooh, good, up strong. That? Right and if there. they do go for a high recovery, you just follow up with your own and try to catch them with an up air or down air, respectively. Sounds wacky. Also, hot dog. It became people's actual skins when I decided to put way too much effort into my streams. I do not recommend you do this for a weekly. It's not worth it. I mean, yeah, but that's why we—that's why we love it. Mm -hmm. I don't know who we mean by we, as we as in spectators or we as in producers, but I think that the answer is yes. Also, hot dog milk. I hate that the that your uh, name color is exactly the color that hot dog milk would be. I mean, it makes sense. It does. It just like, look at, like, look at it. That well, is that disgusting. Is... No. Mm, Slocker really wanted it right there, and it does not work out. To be fair, he was just dead there. Or sevens for the fallen it. soldier. Oh, seven. I think Sloppy was dead even if he did get it. That was just full no, style points. No, no, because remember, uh, up he refreshes on up air. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you can do a lot of really stupid things, um, but since up he refreshes, uh, sorry, up air refreshes up he, um, it means that a lot of the time, you are just... You're just kind of fucking dead if, um, you don't get that edge guard. So this is the part where I say he just walk up slowly and up strong. No. Okay. Got on the same page. Oh, sloppy! Oh! I expected sloppy to do the reverse up the up air right there. Full stop. I'm very surprised he didn't go for it. Because Gucci uh, has himself wide open. Do you, do, do you know how upset I am that I forgot about that, despite the fact that I've been hit by that more times than I can count? Well, I'm sorry to remind you. Um, <laughs> both I'm using ice around start icicles right here. Let's go. This really isn't endless at all. It's not endless at all yet. We haven't seen dash deck and a 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 dash deck trading. We haven't. Fake endless players right here. That's amazing. That's M fucking H. Both players have really good punish game. It's kind of like something I think a lot of the recent Atlas is just sort of emphasize. Mm -hmm. Um, so they're trading damage and trading stocks really quickly. All of my all of my Atlas experience comes from Ocho, so I'm looking at a lot of these things with like jab jab or dash attack nair, and I'm going, oh hey, they should dash attack wave dash jab here, or they should use... I don't know, dash attack one, down tilt uh, one. Also, I don't know that how would you would have di that, but... Whatever Gucci did, it was not working out. Nope. <laughs> Even with the Daka, Sloppy, so it's a pretty big leader right here. So I'm just yeah. to pretty much just stay in his face the whole time, bring us back. So weird to see an Atlas this aggressive. Which is weird for me to say because, you know, Edlis is always aggressive unless your name is Ocho the Octo. <laughs> <laughs> or 
or like NCB, I guess. Dash check trade. Dash check trade. We saw, mm. ladies and gentlemen, we have hit full Atlas. We have. Just in time they for are, one more game. They are eating the glue right now. We got at least one more Good. game. Here. And we're going to Aramata. I this you love to see it with the Atlas Sido and Aramata. No. Such good Atlas age. No, no. No, you don't. You kinda do. No. No, you don't. Mm, I do. You might not. Okay. I I I I think I have a legitimate question. Is Parmamos just like a chatbot? What? Person in chat. Oh, I have no idea, honestly. Because I'm like 80% but... sure that they're just a chatbot. I don't know, I feel like the fact that they're actually referencing player names. I mean, like, you could like feed in like three words. You could, you could. But I'm assuming the best right now. I think that the best is a chatbot. Because the other option is that this is the real person. More power, honestly. <laughs> I can't even pronounce your tag. There's just it just looks like a jumble of letters to me. I know all words are technically just a jumble of letters, but like my brain is too tired to parse that right now, and it's only 7 p.m. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out of things to say. Um, I think that, almost a really good punish. From... I think I can say pretty safely, please use more kill confirms than just up strong randomly. <laughs> please. I've been hit by too many by Ocho to go to think that Edelus doesn't have kill confirmed anymore. Um, weak nair down strong is literally true. Um, down tilt to into up air, down uh, up tilt into uh, up strong or dacus is a thing. Um, it's what Ojo and I call a five way mix up because you have to read if they're drifting in, drifting out, DIing in, DIing out, or no DI. Right, so it's five ways. Yep, hydrate. I get more caffeine, guys. I get e to be even more energetic. Woo! Cool. Well, you're an even game right now. Uh oh. Mm. That is a lot. Alright, did you literally come here just to hydrate spam? 14. I didn't count right. I, I right? 14? I don't know. Many. Yeah, it was many. Okay, I'm now lightheaded. Um... <laughs> Burns the armor and oh, oh my god. Oh, what? oh Gucci, no. no. That's not good. He's Gucci. currently alive. Okay, he has armor. Zoppy. I thought Zoppy did the parry, but no dice. Uh, uh, down here. Uh, good icicle right there, but. Literally. <laughs> Are you serious, guys? You're just gonna, you're just gonna hammer. Oh right. no, he doesn't have, he doesn't have, he's dead. Oh he's yeah, dead. that's gonna be a dead. dead Gucci and Sloppy Jalopy wins winners finals 3-1. Let's get a Sloppy Jalopy, the best to ever do it. You know, no, no, no. I'm not gonna make another sloppy pun. I made a sloppy pun already, and I have higher standards than that. No, I don't. That was that was some pretty sloppy play here. Anybody managed to pull through? Agony. <laughs> Hex, have I ever told you that I appreciate your voice? <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
All right, so... Well, what am I doing with what, Cubix? <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm having more fun than is at all appropriate to have while commentating. Okay, I am done talking to chat now. You can go back to announce your voice. I apologize. No, it's fine. Um, <laughs> so... Losers semis are up now. Uh, one crag in winners, or one edelus in winners, one edelus in losers. Only two standing from the initial four. We are gonna <gasps> see who is going to challenge the first of the Edelai gauntlet here. Um, is it gonna be Mandos or is it gonna be Druidius? Oh, Druidius is in degen, Druidius is in chill. I am sorry, I did the bad. But anyway, yeah. Um, Sylvanas versus Crag is a really awkward matchup for Syl. I kind of want to call it even, but it's really awkward in a lot of ways just because, like, finding wins on Crag in neutral, even in advantage, it's going to sound really weird, but, like, figuring out how to kind of edgeguard Crag and deal with him in his advantage in some regards, it's surprisingly difficult for so. Um, no real good tools to deal with wall filler, stuff like that. Wall, wall pillar seems like you would just start using uh, F tilt. You can use F tilt, but the problem is like a lot of the time, it's a little bit awkward to get them to even go down to the pillar, and then crack and just go back to pillar. And then I mean, what? yeah, but percent is three percent, and then they have to challenge you to get back on, on stage. It's definitely a good option, it just doesn't work as well as it does in some other matchups, or possibly even as well as okay. you would think. It probably board. doesn't work as well as I would think, because, um, yes, well, that's really I don't think draw. so. Oh no, Drew! But, man, well, this holds out the border. Um, Mantis says that you're a dirty liar, Hex. Uh, no, I uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quoting her right here, see, it's right there in chat. Um, and says that it is losing. How dare you lie to your chat like that? Really? She says, in slandering Sylvain's everywhere. What? I don't know, I'm making words up because it's funny. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know, it's like, I feel so... Hmm. It's hard to explain. I just, for some reason, don't have the gut feeling that it's full losing, it's just really bad even, Ooh. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's harder for one side than it is the other, but they both have tools to beat each other effectively. Kind of. Sort of. Yeah, I guess. I, I just describe it as a very awkward matchup for overall, because the way you're normally going to want to play so doesn't work, work super effectively here, for the most part. Oh. Uh, really little right there. We are I will stock I on gates. Hype. Um, I will say, um, I'm going to generalize here. Note that this very likely doesn't mean you, whoever is listening. Um, Rivals Recess players tend to have a roll-in habit. Uh, same for Raz players for the most part, because, let's be honest, they share a lot of the same players. Um, oh, don't, oh, don't, don't, don't. That's oh. the confirm. Oh. You got oh. Sylvanas. Oh. Oh. Big, strong, log. That had to have been a misinput, right? I wonder if, um... I don't even know what input you're talking about. The F-strong on ledge from across the stage? Did you not see that? No. Drudius did down beef. F strong on the platform. I think that was. The, I think Judy is probably using fair. a strong stick. And um, yeah, yeah run off fair. fair. But it looks really funny. Either way, he's my hero because of it. Um, he, maybe he'll switch to SK, and maybe that'll actually be off awesome for him soon. Good up, Eric. Get the first stop. Yeah, pretty good start here for me. It's at seventy-five percent, but stove on rock wall can be somewhat tanky, even for someone with good kill power like Crag. This is definitely one of Sil's better stages. 
provided you, you know, like this stage. In my opinion, yeah, from a comfort pick perspective, this is probably like my first or second favorite stove stage. Maybe even first. But that's a comfort pick uh, level. I think overall yeah. it's like his third best stage. Yeah. Or fourth, I, but yeah. I I have skewed up skewed Sylve stage opinions. Um, because a Karzian. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You probably think Treetop is one of Sylve's best stages. Or something uh, or a uh, new chapel. He, I forget. He he thinks that Trouple is Silv's best counterpick. And thinks that Endless Good Abyss for him. Good for him. is one of the worst uh sorry, that Endless Abyss is one of the worst stages for Silv. Good for him. That's all I'm gonna say. Like most people disagree with him, but I can't really argue that he's wrong. <laughs> Cause he I has good point stage work. It's just in practice, I think they do more for the opponent than they do for self. So then it's a bad soul stage, because you're but, giving the opponent what they want, and you're taking away but, from the things you want. But, counter-argument... Not it's when comfort. it's a card you're playing self. <laughs> yeah, I know it's comfort, I literally said that. Oh, no, it's not even a comfort thing, it's just a card and self wants to do the things that those stages enable him to do. He just plays the character in a fundamentally different way than most still yeah, do. I know. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> How long have we been talking about somebody who's not even here? I don't know. Too long. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. You can tell that Mantis is getting a little worried with the Howls. Nair is a Swiss Army Knife for this character. Oof. It's a really good setup tool, in general. Um... I'm gonna say oh it's God, always most applicable in neutral, but... Ooh. <sighs> Once again, fair is... Not fair. Gonna be the bane of a lot of people's existence tonight. Um... Yeah. I, I'm not comfortable saying that... Nair is Crag's best neutral tool because that would probably go to Brock. Um, I mean, Nair and Rock come really close to each other. But outside of Rock, it's probably either Nair, Jab, or Dash Attack. I would say it's pretty safely Nair. I yeah. Nair's a lot more versatile, and the reward is still really high. Mm-hmm. Drew's starting to make a lot better use of it in this set than I feel like it was in previous sets. Just like over time, we've seen more and more good nair use. Jab does have the advantage of being parry safe, though. Mm, yeah. Although it is slower than down tilt, so there's that. Only character with a tilt that is faster than their jab. Atlas? The more you know. No? It's Atlas's down tilt. I think it's frame 6. I can check. So have Epstein killing. Whack. It's an awful kill move. It's just a lot weaker than it looks. At mm -hmm. a D tilt is frame five. Yeah. So that also applies to Edelus. It's a frame six job. Oh wow. The more you know. Uh, and then oh, fair sorry. Call. Sorry. Uh, Edelus down tilt is active frame 6. Mm, Same okay. as Cap. So then it's tied. Right. Drew is holding forward a lot right now, which I guess Drew kind of holds forward a pretty reasonable amount. Fridge holds forward more than Fridge used to. Did I say fridge twice? Yes. <sighs> hey, Hex. What? I should not drink this much caffeine. No, you shouldn't. It's fun, though. It's definitely fun. Drink water, kids. Water is pockers. Yeah, but I don't have any water. Well, that's your problem. Well, I guess I'm drinking more caffeine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Jiri's edge guarding style isn't really working very well versus so. It's because it's really hard for so to get in position for like super high recoveries. Mm hmm. Um. Recover a lot directly into the stage, like Mint is trying to do right now. And I there will are say. There's obviously ways to beat that, but with a lot of Drew's strengths being stuffing out high recoveries, mm -hmm. isn't working as well versus Mantis right now. I will say that, uh, remember whenever I commented on I wanted to see how often uh, Mantis just burrows? Yeah. Uh, she is very much not taking advantage of all of those mix-ups. Um, I know that I'm about to say something that's heresy to, heresy to most Sylph mains, but Sylph has a very good recovery. It's just hard as fuck to use. It's, it's fine, yeah. It's not a bad recovery. I, I think it's top five. Maybe. I've played too many Sylphs who are good at recovering to think it's anything lower. <laughs> Um, I don't know. This character has. A... Ooh, wow. That was good. That was good. I just covered the platform. But like I, I said, you really had any options. Like I said, um, don't charge up strong. Just use the move. Yeah. Charging up strong locks you in place and tells him what you're doing. Yeah. That move is stupid. Just, just spam it. Um. Okay, where was I? Right. Uh, I have an air mana, that's funny. Uh, I, I, I don't like this stage for Drew specifically. Despite the fact that I think, ooh, good confirm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Drew being really good at finding up airs, I feel like that kind of helps out a little bit. Drew is really good at finding up. You need to, um... You probably want to play a little bit more around top pots, which I don't think Drew is doing too much right now. The reason that I think that this is um, Crag's best stage is because he can camp so hard here. Down be off of top plat and prepare to edge cancel. He can pull rock on top platform and throw it neutral. He can down be on top plat to prevent people from jumping up there. He can uh, up tilt people who are trying to approach him from the side. Bad guy. Ouch. Yeah. Um. But he can do so much off of that top platform, um, and he can kill at zero, realistically, as we all saw from the double down B, up air, up air, up air, uh, CB tweet. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's CB tweet. Um. But that's not how Drew plays. And because of that, uh, especially against Sylv, who, as we mentioned earlier, tends not to recover high, I don't think that this is a good stage for him. Uh, I feel like this is a comfort pick. I feel like the stage that he... That, ignoring comfort, he... Ooh, didn't know what side he was on. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe that was just general confusion with the way so down strong works, too. Uh, I, I thought I that was it. pretty obvious. I couldn't tell. Side. Really? I couldn't tell. I thought that I thought that you was on the left side. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that that happens sometimes. Can we get an oof in the might, chat, please? Might win Sylvanas some stats here and there. Hey Hex. What? You were supposed to delete the replay, not watch it again. Did you just mute me? Is that what just happened? Hex? Why? Oh, okay, I thought you just muted me. No. <laughs> Although I would deserve it. You know, I will say that I'm that I'm proud of myself for one thing tonight, despite how scuffed my commentary always is. 
I haven't made a single Among Us joke in regards to Mantis. Well, yeah, nobody else would understand it. It's covered up the entire time. Yeah, but you would get in, you would groan, and that's my entire goal here. Okay. But yeah, we got Losers Finals here. Um, this is not a rematch. I don't think. No, it can't be nope. a rematch. Rematch. We're gonna get a rematch in Grand either way. Yeah. These players looking for their chance. To try to take Sloppy down. So we kind of went through this bracket like a bit of a, uh, a bit of a freight train. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of signed up last minute, got a really high seat, and definitely Fuck showed why. Up. Legitimate question: How does Silver recover against Daedalus? Or is the answer just kind of not? The answer is the same as everyone else, you know when to use your air dodge, and then you hope it works. So not, got it. Mm. Sometimes, yeah. Ugh, I don't even know if Gucci was close enough for the attack right there. If Gucci had been holding left since, since the second that he released his up he probably would have been, but in that yeah. case, no. If Box just barely goes out, I think some people kind of forget that is, um, Eshtong 3 does have a pretty long hitbox. Um, it's a lot longer than the first two. So, it's not too hard to catch people with it. If they're just not really paying too much attention. Yes. I thought... Man, just, just, oh, they're, they're the tax. Three. All of them. Ugh. Did not ASDI out. Yeah, I'm not sure if Gucci was on hit stun right there. Yes. Gucci was still in hitstun, but with DI out, then he could have lived. Mm. I think he was still in hitstun at least. I might be stupid. Is it getting it's away with that wave in neutral tonight? I mean, I know Lucky. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it is. That's um, unfortunate DI. Yeah. Sweet spot there. It's, it's pretty can, hard. can we just. Can I just- can we just, like, end that game with just- Yeah. 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 Rockwall! Rockwall. We have been seeing too much of the stage, and I don't like it. No, we haven't. This is the only valid stage. So, I'm happy- Hex, I will hang up on you. Okay, do it. Okay. Wait, no. Wait, I just click stop watching. This is disconnect. There. Alright. <laughs> Well, yeah, that, that sure was a hang-up. Alright, so, oh, you're back. Alright then. Um, so you missed uh, a dropped Edgard in that short time you were away. Very unfortunate. But I wanted to pick players' habits more. Hmm, that was... Certainly willing to find enough strong. Get rid of the armor very quickly, at least. At, I'm gonna say it. I'm, I'm gonna say it again. Don't charge strongs at ledge, boys and girls. Spam them so that you get more active frames. Well, at least if they have low enough in luck. They finally like, well, have a pet away, Parry. Hallelujah. But we still don't have a DI out and. No tech parry. Or DI out jump. Or DI out do literally anything except get hit. Hmm, gotcha. Oh, it's like a man is just hitting a lot of these just in neutral anyway. Just, like just the projectile, so. And these are a lot easier to deal with. Hmm, and wow, that's gonna be a stock. As a general rule of thumb, if you get hit by a petal, uh, by a flower, Never ASDI towards the Sylph. Like, y you're still probably gonna get fucked, but you may as well try. I think another uh, thing some people don't really think about is you can couch cancel um, seeds. Oh yeah, they never do um, you more can... 8%, do they? Uh, no, you can just couch cancel the whole thing and then parry whatever their follow-up is. 
cool. Um, that, so that can really shut down their options if you're able to stay grounded. I started to just kind of crouch versus themselves and try to get spammed with Howler Petal um, or Seeds. They cannot do anything to me. Ooh, bad DI. Yeah, just a little bit. And I think you're in a even game. Lots of mm -hmm. like kind of just quickly taking each other's stocks from both sides. Mantis is going to Frozen Fortress here, so with her comfort, comfort pick from her on her side, we're going to see how that uh, goes. Gucci. You know, I will say, this is feeling like old old school RR, back whenever it wasn't called RR and it was called the name that we cannot mention. Oh, a Silvano, a Silvano's on Frozen Fortress. I remember when I used to call the server still court 2. Now it's at a court 2. Yeah, we only really have one still consistently making top 8 nowadays, which is kind of unfortunate. All the other ones won. No, a lot of them just stopped playing, actually. Oh, right. Yeah. I mean, what? Who were all the old school sills? Nine tracks. Um, Lori. Ooh! Ow! But yeah, Lari definitely could have won. Um, Mr. K mm -hmm. probably could have won. Um, uh, no, Mr. K got banned because Ras. Huh, I missed that. When was that? No, 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 no. Sorry, that was just VV. VV is also unbanned now, but I don't know if they know that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, Mr. K. Mr. K is definitely not back. banned. Um. Yeah, Mr. K started coming back. It did. I haven't really seen him play Rivals in the past, like, three weeks. But... I mean, he plays, he tweets about it sometimes. Ooh, what was that edgeguard attempt? I apologize for getting sidetracked, everybody. On the other hand, um... We've said, like, everything about this magic at this point. <laughs> That is very not true. We've said every- I've said everything that I know about this matchup at this point. There's definitely more to be said. I mean... I think Friday was gonna be higher shutting down dash attack. I feel like Zill's plot camping is probably some of the weaker plot camping in the cast, so you can't really use that strategy, which is a kind of more universal one. There's another one. Man's just getting away with this all night. Please! <laughs> I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a just start expecting. Joke. I'm I'm gonna make a politically charged. Just start joke expecting the side band. That's it. That's all you need to know. Stop letting her get away with it. Stop let letting her steal games for free. Start dying out on uh, side B. Stop the steal. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm done. Why do I sometimes feel like these games are sped up? Um. Because Rivals is a shockingly fast game and everything feels slower because we're so used to playing it uh, that we just like shortcut literally everything. Is that good answer? Ooh! No, nice not really. Oh, okay. Why is it not a good answer? Because I feel like I so. Oh, oh wow. I feel like I still look. wouldn't be able to just tell what's happening in between like this. I don't know. I'm going to just see games I mean, and it looks like they're moving at like 1.5 I mean, times speed. I don't really the get thing it. Is, how many how many things of how many parts of Okay, phrasing is hard. How much of your like say movement do you like really think about in the game? Like you think hard about? I don't know. He like mate Ooh no, I think but at least yeah, in on the up strong. Um, the answer is probably like about five percent, maybe. Because a lot of it is okay. I want to go here, and then you go okay. Wave dash, wave dash, wave dash, wave dash, right? But you don't know what you're thinking. Gucci's oh already God. dead. What? Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Where did stock two go? Um, the stash up strong. Oh. oh, wait, where did stock one go then? Um, I forget. 
Oh no, wait, no, no, the last arc was up there. Where did that first dock go? Yeah. Regardless, um, a lot of the stuff that we do in game is uh, just super short. Oh, right, up till there. Good pilgrimer, by the way. You are good yes. at those. Um, where was I? Right. Uh, a lot of the stuff that we do is shortcutted so that we just don't have to think about it. Um, but whenever we don't know what these characters' bread and butters are, uh, or these players' bread and butters are, um, we can't shortcut them. So we have to observe and think about every single possible follow-up. And so all of a sudden, moves seem super quick. Regardless, hey guys, we get to watch at least another three games of Edelus vs. Sylve! And Snappy is already out of things to talk about for this matchup. Whoop de doo! Ah. <laughs> Man, I think probably just gonna be how sloppy they able to move around so his hitboxes and also how both sides are able to. Oh, well, yeah. Oh no. Mendes can no longer use Pedal Wave in control. Sag. Sag? Joy! <laughs> well, it sucks for her. Good for. Us. Good for sloppy, I guess. No, no, us too, because seeing pedal wave in neutral work is a crime. It is. It's a little. Most, most it's against a little humanity. Pretty. Oh, thinking of. Ah, Gucci, Barry, pe pe oh, pedal wave in neutral. There we go. We're finally seeing some Kia on the mustache. So yeah, oh. man just is gonna have to bring out a lot more creativity and kind of just shift the way she's been playing compared to the last couple steps. Sophie's ready for a lot of the soul gimmicks. I think this is kind of what happens when you have a presumably fairly active soul honest in your career. Like, it helps a lot. I'm assuming a lot of the other previous players don't have that much soul experience, but, um... And if you don't have soul experience, remember that you can always just ping one of the good souls and ask them. Whether that good well, soul be Mantis, Acarcian, uh, Flary, Giga... Anywhere on the spectrum. I mean, good. I think the one thing is like, if you just ask for some quick knowledge, I feel like Sylv has a more input based skill checks than most characters. Mm -hmm. Where just knowing what you're supposed to do isn't always going to be enough because it's really awkward to actually execute on a lot of Sylv's Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight, too, yeah. No wonder you like those characters so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh... Yeah. A lot of the stuff is wonky, a lot of stuff is unintuitive. That that just kinda yeah. Ooh! That Ooh. Ooh! Oh that was gross. That I don't was like that. Oh. I don't like that one. I feel like I've been hit by that exact I think I've been hit by that exact setup before. Surprising the sloppy leaves tree top open. Even leaving aside the fact I know this is a bump effect for Mantis. I'm always a little bit surprised when Edelai leaves open the encounter effect here. It makes me wonder what he sees in the stage that a lot of Edelises don't. I, it's probably. It's either. Uh, he didn't think that Mantis would take him here because. Well, that literally this happened is... in the last set, so. This time around, Sloppy hey, definitely hey. Known. Well, either he forgot, right? Um, or he goes, uh, I beat her here last time, I will beat here, her here again. I guess it could just be a random bands thing. Damn. Wow. Speaking of random bands, I will never get over DTU. Is DTU a random band in Brackett? He random and picks. Jesus Christ, DT, why? I know! Uh, but he either does that or he does the Ocho thing where he leaves us open as a bait counter pick. Where he's actually super comfortable on the stage. Um, 
and goes, yeah, this is bad for Edelus, but it's not as bad as people say it is, so I am just going to come here anyway so that people waste their pick, because I like the stage. Mm, just kind of curious, I guess. <laughs> oh. Was, it, oh, and the roll in again. Oh, no, you can see Mantis panicking. Yeah, you can see. Floppy just confirmed that they counterpick. Yeah. Also, Sloppy, I know that Edelus is easy, but you don't have to speak like Neanderthal. I know that you play like one, but no. Um. <laughs> Every Rivals player plays like a Neanderthal, that's not an insult. You know, I was gonna say, I was gonna insert a, um, a person that I respect their play a lot, and I really, really think that they don't. But I thought for about five seconds and went, no, no, you're right. Uh, <laughs> like, I'm really trying here. <laughs> There's literally no one. Like, I would say blue, but like, blue. <laughs> blue is like, very, very far in the Neanderthal. Blue DI. Um... And, oh wow, that oh, wow. was a really good upstrong. And finally, uh, Mantis is able to put some points on the board against Sloppy. Hey Sloppy, where were you denying there? Um, um, I would say MSV, but like, I fare them three times. <laughs> oh, what's it? Oh, that's a noob. Also, Hot Dog Milk, you don't need to act like a ne- uh, you don't- you don't play like Neanderthal because your profile picture eats up all of your budget. Um, Damn. Got him good. I would say Soros, but you put down a cloud and they can no longer use dash attack. I guess I'm that complicated. Um, yeah. A Carcian, but a Carcian. Um, no, a Carcian is 100%. Just feel. That um, is like as Neanderthal as you can get. Yeah, that's Especially what I with said. character like. So why are you even bringing up names that are literally the farthest from the truth? Because I respect him. <laughs> but no, no, no. He's just me with it. That that's some. That is. I'm upset. How hey, did that Slop hit? Hey sloppy. I, I have something to tell you. You're cheating. Great DI right there, but Sloppy's two socks up. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a really good position to be in. Just kind of. Oh, God. I appreciate, you, I appreciate that you agree with me, Sloppy. I would like to point out that that also made me lightheaded. Holy shit. <laughs> good. Oh, God, I'm dizzy. <laughs> Flower, nice. You deserve the F1s. You deserve to be dead for that hammer, but unfortunately, Chomp just a little too weak. And man, just... I'm not sure if that was. I guess it was by the right no! mm, I don't know if he could have done much right there. I think. Uh, cancelled wall jump, bear pin up the. Well, like by the time you burrowed. Well, by the time that they burrowed, no, but. Respond I to targeting after. I don't know Trump. if she had her like wall jump or anything. So she did. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna say a bet. I'm gonna say a hot take. This isn't. This is a. I wouldn't say bad or good, but I would say like pretty decent uh, at a stage. Because with that middle platform, you can kind of play it almost like a um, miniature blazing hideout with yeah, ice I mean, in the middle and flat drop nair. I've been because hot camp Lamau. here before um, like against Adelus, mm -hmm. and it works surprisingly well for the character. I feel like you wouldn't normally expect mm -hmm. most forms of camping from an Adelus, but I can't really do much. I mean, 
like, by the time I adapted, which I did adapt pretty well in my opinion, it was too little too late and I couldn't really win because I was already like, it was shovel night, so like, you're usually playing from behind anyway, but I was just a little bit too far behind for it to uh, really it's work. It's like the way you do, yeah. Yeah. I really, I really, really, I'm gonna, I don't, I don't know how I want to phrase this. Because there are two things that I th think that Mantis needs to learn, and she will just win this entire bracket for free. And one is how to more consistently use kill confirms outside of the super basic uh, side B up strong, howl down strong, right? Just like the ones that every Sylv learns super early on, right? Use some of the more complicated ones, like that up tilt bear that we saw. Um, down tilt bear. <laughs> Um, falling Nair Rot Drop, right? Stuff like that. Um, and the second thing that she needs to do is, um, basically just hit up a car scene and go, HELP ME WITH RECOVERY! Um, uh, because it ends up being a lot of burrow into hope for the best. Um, and there's so much more that Sylvanas can do for recovery, uh, even if sometimes they are forced to burrow. Uh, burrow isn't a good option a lot of the time. And I really, I really, really think that Mantis is a good player that just has a couple of these really, really bad habits that she needs to scrub out. Yeah, there hasn't then, been a lot and, of and side be on win. stage, which is really good for so. Um, side be on the stage, Ed. Oh no, no. Yeah, sit on him. Well, guess we have another one and doneer, everyone. Congratulations, to Sloppy Jalopy, for winning. Um, which one is this? RRC thirty-eight. Nine. <sighs> Dang. Congratulations for winning RRC thirty-nine. Um, I will um, say another that... adolescent the invitational cringe. <laughs> Damn it, Hex! I was gonna say that sloppy sitting on an, a Sylvanas was cringe. Mm. Nah, that's pretty normal, I think. Okay, I will say that as bad as it gets, nothing will ever be as bad as Invitational One. Uh. Do you remember Invitational 1, Hex? Of course. Do you? Do you remember Invitational 1? I wish I didn't. Two Sylves, three Shovel Knights. Yep. Um... Uh... And I was somehow two of those. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> this was a shockingly short stream, huh? Yeah, it was. Lots of trios across the board. Everyone just kind of like getting super aggro with their play and just throwing everything in, in the kitchen sink at their opponent. Made for some pretty interesting games, I think. I guess that all that there's really left to say is good games to everyone. Hope to see you one more time la uh, next week and watch the last one of the season. And then the week after that, it's gonna be the Invitational. Yep. Hope you're ready. Definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, in the meantime, if you're looking for some more uh, tournament play here, I say we can go raid uh, PX. So... Hype. And uh, yeah, not too much for me to add. I hope to see you all around next week. Uh, yeah. Bye. Hmm.